can you hang the baits me? Bonkai 922. Now, last week, we didn't have a Marshall episode. Kind of strange. Uh, but this is going to be Marshall. You know, Marshall. <laughs> Massage and Muscles, Season 2, Episode 6. Mosh burn dead. You look, you lose. So, this takes right off from where we left off last week when Mosh basically defeated what's his face called Prakiko. <laughs> and we see Macron. Oh, the same voice actor who did the character from ReZero. I like him. He's pretty cool. Good voice actor. Anyway, we see him taking out the other uh, candidates from the red team during that 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 uh, uh, round. So yeah, Macaron. So Macaron takes out both of them, and the round ends because he did this, destroyed their crystal, their last of their red crystals. The round ends. And everybody goes in the next round. Now, surprisingly enough, Finn Dot, that other guy whose name eludes me, move on. They're in the audience. And the next round for the exam is going to be a one-on-one -on -one competition. Now, Macaron, yeah, this is going to be the guy that, that Mosh is going to have to defeat. He can't, he can't get to it unless he defeats him. Now, this episode was weird because after this reveal, everybody passes except, you know, and, you know, uh, Macaron started staring him down, like a stare down. And, you know, they just go all their separate ways, next exam, you know. Now, we get introduced to Calgo, the other one of the visionaries, and my understanding about him, Caldo, Caldo, is he's basically the guy that can say whether you are a visionary, divine visionary, or you aren't. Now, of course, douche nozzle, this guy, four eyes, um, Orter, Madol, He's still there. He, he basically roped in Macron to take out Mosh. That's the whole story here. He's really gung-ho about this. Trying to push him out, kill him. He's no good. It's the whole concept in this show. Of the whole, you know, you can't use magic, you're trash. Now... We get a, like a stare down with Model, Ortur, and Macron. Did a little scene there. And the next scene we have is Caldo, who is explaining to the, 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 the uh, director of the, of the school that, you know, Mosh is going to have a hard time. Mosh isn't going to beat this guy, Macron. It's, it's a done deal. That's when Caldo decides to take it upon himself to go see Mosh. And basically, he tells him, we're going to play a game. And this game is, you look, you lose. So, basically what Mosh has to do, he has to stand in this circle and look in the direction that Caldo is not pointing at. I believe that was his story. So whatever direction he's pointing, he can't look in it. While this is happening, in the direction he's looking in, magic attacks are coming after him. Now, he has three tries. Surprisingly enough, Mosh excels and is able to get to the third round. 
And it seemed like at that point, you know, he's got an advantage. He's, you know, he was doing some crazy shit, though. It was a scene where uh, Kaldo Corp brought out this sword. It's got, like, black flames around it. Mosh physically removed the ground where the circle was drawn on and jumped. He's ridiculous. And from there, you know, but but of course, Kaudo says he says it's a draw. So that last round, he didn't really, you know. So he go, he marches his way, and it seems like Kaudo, he's different than Mattel Orter. That Orter guy, four eyed guy, is a jerk. But Kaldo seems like he wants Mosh to join their ranks. So he's hoping to see if he can possibly overcome this challenge of Makarov. So their fight starts. And, you know, Makarov's got a huge amount of magical energy coursing through him. He hits him with this heavy energy attack with magic. And you think it's going to push Mash to the ground, to the wall, and he's going to get crushed. No. no. He's like doing it with like volleyball. And you think he hits the wall. No, he doesn't hit the wall. He runs backwards and somehow avoids the impact. Goes behind Macron, grabs him, goes up, a pile driver. Huh? The feats of strength in this show is insane. And that results in... It doesn't result in Mosh getting a one-up on him. He doesn't receive any injuries, unfortunately, Makron. Now, that's basically where we end. And he obviously giggles Makron and saying you can continue the amusement with Mosh. Now, the way I look at this show now, it is, you really have to look at the society that this show is based upon. It does resemble, I know I'm bringing up Harry Potter again, but it does. It does resemble it in a way. They treat people who can't use magic as scum. You can't use magic. Oh, you're, you're, you're trash. But you get to see how, especially when you consider the Innocent Zero group, they, and in a way, you could call them the good guys here because everyone who can't use magic is considered trash. So, but... This whole story as it unfolds, I find it to be is that eventually Mosh is going to overcome this. He's going to defeat these guys. And it's going to show that, yeah, maybe, at least when it concerns for Mosh, we should really just, you know. But right now, as for this episode, I'm not going to go really high because really not a lot happened. Uh, next week will probably be a higher rating because we'll get more action. Here we only had really one exchange between Mosh and Makaron. So I would say 8.5 out of 10 for this one. Uh, though that pile driver was pretty freaking awesome. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, me. Um, so yeah, I don't know why there was no new episode last week. Who knows? But, really good episode. Now in the nitty gritty here of the, the vision exams, divine visionary exam, I'm wondering if Dot, Finn, and that other guy are going to be included in this, or is it just Mosh against Makaron? But then there's like three of them, so it's, it's you don't know. You don't know. But anyway, this is Mavon Kanai 22. 
Catch you guys later. Mosh is... Oh. <laughs> He's drinking a protein shake. No. It's pretty crazy. I'll see you guys later. Peace.